Hey, it's Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Thule Easy Fold XT Hitch Mounted Platform Bicycle Carrier. Here we have it installed onto this vehicle that's equipped with a 2 inch receiver hitch. However, it is also compatible with vehicles with inch and a quarter receiver hitches as well. So, this is a full featured carrier. We'll go over all these details. We'll first remove these bikes and then take the rack off show you what's involved with the assembly and then reload the bikes so let's get started let's go ahead and first just remove the bikes to do that there's a gray lever we'll just press that lever to release the ratchet strap on the back and then here on the front and now up here we have a turn knob we'll just turn that counterclockwise to release the grip from the frame and then the first bike is off let me put this off to the side now the second bike is a mountain bike. This carrier can accommodate a wide range of different bicycle styles, road bikes, mountain bikes, e-bikes, and bike weights as high as 65 pounds each. So it has a wide range of capability. As you can see here, it can grip around a very large diameter tube. Okay, so I got the mountain bike released. And then let's go put this bike off to the side next. Okay, so Easy Fold is a reference to how the rack can be stored. So let's go ahead and put it in the, in the stowed position. And to do that, I will remove this part here which is the support arm and reposition it just so it's out of our way and then tuck these down next I'll just bring in the two halves of the platform and then underneath we have this turn knob and this turn knob will release the grip from within the the hitch and there's an auto pin on the opposite side and I'll go ahead and take the rack off so you can see those two features in detail Okay, so what you have here is a solid steel inch and a quarter stinger with a two inch aluminum adapter. Very easy to remove with just these fasteners. There's fasteners on the underside, tools included to do that. So you can convert it quickly and easily. And then here you see this silver portion. This is a wedge that when you tighten the turn knob, it'll push that wedge into the corner of the receiver hitch to provide a very effective anti-wobble both vertically and horizontally. And then here off to the side, instead of having a loose through pin, you have an auto pin and this auto pin stays with the carrier and helps you to make sure that the rack is inserted to the correct depth. Now construction is, this is all steel, this is solid steel stinger as I mentioned, tubular steel and then a tubular steel frame. And then the platform itself is a combination of plastics and aluminum. And then this support bar is also steel. So a combination of uh, the best materials for the given application. And you also have part of the easy fold function is a lever on the underside, which allows you to make this rack even more compact. So if you like to store this inside your vehicle in between uses, this form factor can allow for that pretty easily. Now, in addition, on the underside here, you can see there's two wheels. Now, what I can do is grab the handles that are at the top and easily and comfortably move this around from the hitch to where I want to store it in the garage or wherever you may want to store your carrier. So you don't actually have to lift the carrier to do that. Okay, so now when it's time to reinstall, I'll just go ahead and push this hitch assembly back down until you feel and hear that click. I want to make sure that the auto pin is open and then go ahead and lift the carrier back to the hitch. Just get it to rest on the lower portion of the, of the hitch and then bring it in. Once it's in, you can go ahead and push in that auto pin once it's past the collar of your hitch and then hold that a little pressure inward as you're pushing into the hitch and it automatically finds your hitch pin hole. 
And now, so you can see there's some movement there as we tighten the turn knob. That movement will go away, giving you a very firm, rigid connection to the receiver. So all tools free, all very easy to operate, and very secure from a theft deterrent standpoint with the included one key system, lock cores and keys. So I'll just go ahead and insert the key into the lock cylinder. And now, even though it's tight, this handle spins freely and doesn't allow the detachment of the carrier from your hitch. Okay, so now let's move on to the platform. So the platform, it just spreads open here and easily is put into the carrying position. Notice you have reflectors on each end of the carrier to indicate the, the rear of the carrier and provide good visibility. Also, you have two fastener points. Currently, those are plugs. You can remove those plugs and included with the rack is the fasteners and hardware in order to reposition your license plate to the rear of the rack. So if you have any concerns about the visibility of your license plate, you can reposition it here and alleviate those concerns. Also, we have a foot pedal here and we'll demonstrate that uh, now and then also when bikes are loaded. So to operate the foot pedal, you actually use your foot and press down on it and that allows the rack to tilt down and away from the back of the vehicle. It also provides access to your ramp, which is housed inside the structure of the rack. So it's there for you when you need it. There's an arrow that indicates the correct method of folding this and its position within that area. So it just comes out and then unfolds. Let's go ahead and just demonstrate that now. I'll go ahead and put the carrier back into the carrying position. There's a tab on one end that inserts into the, the end of each position for each bike on both sides. So wherever it makes sense for you to load your, your bike or whichever bike you need assistance lowing, lowering, or, or you have the ramp there. Now bear in mind, this is on a, a vehicle. It's a four by four vehicle that's higher than many other vehicles. They do make this in an extra long version, which will reduce this incline. So this incline currently is pretty severe, but, but if you purchase separately the XL version, you can reduce that incline, making it more comfortable and convenient to load heavy bikes using the ramp. But this, that should not be necessary except for on the, the 4x4 lifted vehicles. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that back into place. And when you're folding this up, just ensure that you're folding it up with the arrow on the outside, not the one not tucked in. And then we'll go ahead and put it back where it was and make sure that the arrow lines up with the arrow on the rack. That way it's in the correct position. And then we can go ahead and snap that shut. Now it's time to go ahead and load the bikes. Uh, these bikes aren't super heavy, so we don't need the ramp to load them. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, after having already loaded the bikes, I have a, a feel for how I'll position it, position these uh, support arms. So bear in mind, these support arms are very flexible in terms of their positioning. They can be where they come out of the box, or you can change the, the position from the short to the long or long to the short. And you can also move them around on this hoop area to where it makes sense and where it will best be oriented with the bicycle that you're loading. Okay, so just from the past bike that we loaded, I know that it goes there, but I'm gonna wait until I have the inner bike loaded and we'll use that in a moment. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the first bike. This bike is a bike with a 29 inch mountain bike wheel and 29 inch wheel size is the largest designed for this carrier. And you can carry up to three inch wide tires with the straps that are included. 
However, if you have wider tires, they do make a double XL strap to replace these straps to give you even more, more range of tire sizes to transport. Okay, so after having preloaded the bikes, I determined that this is the best position for this particular bike. At first, you may find that it's, there doesn't seem to be a good position to where you can get a good grip on the bike, but if you keep trying, you'll find that you'll be able to find a great position for just about every bike on the market. Now, this bike happens to be a carbon fiber frame, and they, they do make a carbon fiber frame protector. So it's important to, to, be, to be careful not to over tighten this turn knob. However, it does have a clutch built into the handle to help prevent over tightening. So you can hear that, that clutch, that's stopping me from being able to go over tight. However, I feel comfortable clamping down on this because it's a, a mountain bike with a very tough down tube on the frame. So I feel comfortable going all the way to that point where it clicks. However, when we load the road bike, that bike is a lighter frame, thinner carbon fiber. So I would not, I would not load that with the clicking unless I had the frame, carbon fiber frame protector, which is a product that's sold separately. Now, let me go ahead and just ratchet down on this back wheel. And then let's get the front wheel. And when I do this front wheel, I'll show you the optional methods. You can, you can push in, you can pull, and you can also ratchet. So whichever works best for you. Let's grab the second bike. Now here's a, a point is my initial loading of the bikes. I would generally have bikes facing opposite directions. So handlebars on op opposing positions on opposite sides. However, what I found after trial and error was that in this particular arrangement, it made, it was better to have both bikes facing the same way. So again, with some experimentation, you'll find lots of versatility in this rack, giving you lots of options for carrying different bikes and different bike uh, relations between each other. Okay, so same thing. I, I'm just putting this arm through to reach the rear hoop in the back there. And let me get it positioned the way I want. Okay, so it first goes around the hoop. I get it, the collar connected, and then now I can go ahead and get it connected around the, the frame itself. And once again, as I was describing a moment ago, I'm not going to tighten this until it clicks because I know that it's, it's, this is a delicate, thin carbon fiber. However, if I had the carbon fiber frame protector, I may be more inclined to go tighter. But even, even before I get too tight, it's still a very secure, strong fit, very secure attachment, very little movement whatsoever. Okay, same thing. Let's go ahead and get a little extra stability with the strap. And here you can notice the strap is directly conflicting with a spoke. Easy to solve, just rotate a little bit and that's solved quickly. Okay, and then you got a good connection there. Again, carbon fiber rims, no need to over tighten these, just get it snug. The purpose is just to stop the, the wheel from bouncing out of the tray. The tray itself has a narrow section to help give it additional stability and then it widens out for the wider mountain bike si sizes. Okay, now with both bikes loaded, if I wanna access the back of the vehicle, I can take advantage of that foot lever again. And because I have the stability of the, the bicycle, I can just push on that and I can guide it down just by grabbing the handlebar and get it all the way down to this angle. And now I can go ahead and open up the rear hatch. And as you can see, ample clearance for a wide range of different handlebar widths. There's really no possibility of, of contact there. Okay, then we can put it back. Okay, so now let's take just a moment. We covered a lot of the details on this rack, 
But let's take it from out of the box and assemble the rack to show you what's involved with assembling the rack to get it to this stage. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this together. What we'll do is just open up the top of the box and flip open the flaps. There's an upper cardboard separator. And then there's a handle at the top here that we can just lift. And more cardboard to pull out. Now on the back of the rack, we have a lever that we can flip this lever to allow the hitch assembly to rotate downward and uh, clicks into place. And that is the complete assembly of the Thule Easy Fold XT. Okay, well you can see that was a very fast assembly very easy and that's why Thule named this product the Easy Fold XT because it's very easy to assemble, very easy to install, easy to load bikes, it's very versatile, it works on two inch receiver hitch vehicles or and even inch and a quarter receiver hitch vehicles. A great choice for people looking for a quality rack that's very versatile. So those are all the main features. If you have any questions or comments on this particular rack feel free to leave those in the comments section below and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2,000 rack-related videos and we upload new videos weekly. See the link in our product description for all your buying options and thanks for watching.